six for each of our speakers. Masood, not a rinky-dink Toastmaster for Table Topic today at all. I love that you had the slides and you took us back to what Table Topics is about. And I like that expression, contest style. I think that that was, that's a good way for us to prepare for contests in the future and probably what we should be doing at more meetings. So that was terrific. Lisa, why are we at Toastmasters? You made it relevant right away when you started. And I love that you referred to speaking and active listening, the two parts of communication. Your gestures were there, wagging a finger, touching your ear. You had a strong pace and your voice was varied. You had different volume, you had different pace, and you used different expressions. I love some of your phrases, received it in the way that it was intended. Communication can be learned, that's why we're at Toastmasters. You gave the examples of parent when you yell at your children, that's not necessarily communicating. And immediately had a picture of the tourist on the bus, you said, where is the park? Where is the park? Like if you yell, all of a sudden the language is the thing. So very good. Toastmasters is a complete package and you had an invitation for everybody to keep going. My only suggestion, Lisa, is watch your time. But it was red and everything you said after the red light was not rinky dink. So I think we should take that table topic and put on our social media without the timing. Richard, I like that you clarified the question right away. And that is what table topic speakers need to do, which is terrific. You had a great expression, endure long silences. I think you should teach a lot of Toastmasters how to do that because I just keep talking. You had very well organized. You talked about verbal and then you talked about informal. You called out Ruby. I think when we can pat each other on the back, that's a big win. I would challenge you as you conclude to maybe take it to the group one more time. So I wonder what other members have as a speaking style. Just bring it back to the question at the beginning. But I love the way that you organize your speech and really, really well done. A robo, conversation versus communication. And right away you went to an example we could all refer to. Two friends maybe talking about nothing, which is what conversation is. Just fun and exchanging ideas. You did a really good comparison of two things that you were asked about. And the two ideas were not rinky dink. They are different. You referred back to Lisa and the whole reason why we're at Toastmasters. I thought that was terrific. You had a strong conclusion right to the end. So this is my opinion about conversation versus communication. I just want to make one statement here. This isn't about a robo. We always congratulate each other when we call back to somebody else. During speech contests, you're not allowed to do that anymore. Do it all you want here, but don't do it in a speech contest. Masood, I have a question. I know it's red light, Leah. Those who speak plant seeds, those who listen harvest. Who said that? I want to do a social media post on that. That's brilliant. I got to give credit to who said it. And uh, that's, that's a general, uh, I have to find it, but it's a general coming from back home. Yeah, if, if there is somebody who deserves credit, just email it and I'm going to play on PicMonkey. I don't think they were rinky dink, whoever said it. And I have one last thing. <clears throat> um, I love the expression, Richard. Thinking on my toes, I suppose. Could be a social media too. <laughs> Back to you, Mr. GE.